Hello. Listen, why are so many students stuck at a band 6 or a band 6.5? And how can you finally get your band 7? Let's find out. Hello, so my name is Keith, um, if you don't know me, and I run the website The Keith Speaking Academy and the YouTube channel English Speaking Success, here to help you speak better English, give better answers and get a higher score on IELTS speaking. Now, it's a common problem, right? I see students who take the IELTS test, um, the IELTS speaking test, and they get maybe a 6.5. And then a month later, they do the test again and they get a six. And then two weeks later, they try again and they get a 6.5. It's like, what's going on? It's as though they're stuck in this time warp or in this band six warp, like they just cannot move, right? So what to do? Well, first we need to understand where you are stuck and then let's get you unstuck, okay? Now, some people think that the different bands in IELTS speaking um, are points. So if we look at band eight, seven and six, they may think that a band six is this point, a band seven is this point, and a band eight, of course, is this point. Um, and that if you want to go from a band six to a band seven, you go from this point to this point. And from a seven, to an eight from this point at this point. But that is not quite true. The reason they're called bands is because they are spaces rather than points. For example, a band eight will be in this space, a seven here, and a band six here. Now, if you're a band six, but you're here at the top end of a band six, and somebody else is here, at the bottom of the end of a band six. Um, they are both band six, but they're different levels. And you can leap from the bottom of a band six up to here at the top of a band six, but you're still a band six. Now, if somebody wants to jump from the bottom level of a band six to this bottom of a band seven, it's a big leap. However, for the student who's at the top of a band six, going up to the bottom of a band seven, it's a small leap, right? But they both move up one band. Why? Because the band is not a point. It's more like a space or a band. Interesting, right? So what does that mean for you? Well, if you're stuck, I mean, if you're at the bottom end of the band six space, then you're probably stuck there because your level of English is not high enough. So if you're asking questions like, hmm, which tense should I be using in this answer? Or what's the correct preposition here? Then that's probably you. You need to improve your overall level of spoken English. On the other hand, if you're at the top end of the band six space, um, then yes, still work on your language skills, of course, but what you need to focus on more is probably your exam technique, right? If you're asking questions like, why did the examiner keep cutting me off? Why doesn't the examiner let me speak? Oh dear, I only spoke for one minute in part two. Then this means you don't really understand how IELTS speaking works or you haven't done enough practice. So what you need to do is find out how it works, do the practice, develop your exam technique. And to do that, you'll need the right tools, which I'm gonna talk about shortly. Let's go back though to the first case, somebody who's at the bottom end of band six um, and is stuck there. Now let's look at how we can get them unstuck. And to be honest here, if, especially if you've already done the test two or three times, I think my best advice to you is to stop studying IELTS. 
I mean, take a break, right? Take a break from the headaches, the pressure, the frustration. Just go away for two months and learn general English. Forget about the test, forget about IELTS, just enjoy learning English. Go and follow a course. Come and follow my live lessons every week. Get some good study tools and a good study technique and just take a break from the IELTS and just enjoy English. As I mentioned, to do that well, you're going to need two things. You're going to need the right tools and the right study method. Let's look first at the right tools. So when it comes to choosing the right tools, my first bit of advice is actually to just have one or two tools, right? Or even a handful of tools because it's so easy to get distracted, to have lots of books, lots of websites, 15 different apps. I mean, look how many mobile apps I've got. It's, it's ridiculous and I don't use half of them. So get really focused, right? Just have one or two main tools, your go-to tools that you always use. And this will help block out all of the distractions. So for websites, my go-to website would be the Keith Speaking Academy. <laughs> I would say that, wouldn't I? It's the best website there is for IELTS speaking. <laughs> for books, I'd have for grammar, um, English Grammar in Use by Raymond Murphy. And for vocabulary, English Vocabulary in Use by Michael McCarthy and Felicity O'Dell. Mobile apps, I was going to say YouTube, but actually, I think I've found something better than YouTube. Because again, YouTube distracts a lot. Um, but recently, a few weeks ago, I told you about, if you saw one of my videos, I told you about an app called Woodpecker, right? And Woodpecker is really interesting. And the more I explore it, the more I'm starting to really like it. Um, and I know some students who've actually switched from YouTube to Woodpecker as their go-to app for English learning. Why? Well, now before I tell you exactly why I love it, let me be completely upfront and honest with you. Um, I have spoken to the guys at Woodpecker, the app, um, and they have agreed to sponsor this video which is great. Thank you so much, everybody at Woodpecker. Um, and also to give some free prizes to you, the students, which is also great. So I'm going to tell you more about the prizes towards the end of the video. So stay tuned. First of all, let me tell you about Woodpecker, the Woodpecker learning app. So this is a free app, right? It's, it's a video player built for English learning. So you can access videos from all over the internet in one app. And the great thing about it is that when you're watching a video, if you don't understand a word you hear, you can look at the transcript, you can press the word and you get the definition straight away. And this is fantastic because it means you're learning lots of new vocabulary exactly at the moment when you're ready to learn it, which means the learning is so much deeper. It's great. So we've talked about the right tools. Let's talk now about studying the right way. And here I want to talk about improving your study habits and give you some tips to improve your fluency so you can speak without effort for a band seven, um, building flexibility of vocabulary so you can give precise meaning like a band seven. So here are some quick tips to help you improve your study habits. First of all, have a regular study time. Research on how we create habits shows us that the cue which prompts us to do something is so important. Now that might be a time. So when you say, right, it's six o'clock, I've come home, you see the time, six o'clock, and you think that's my study time. Or maybe first thing in the morning, 7.30, after breakfast, bum. That's your study time, regular times. Also, possibly the queue might be a place. Maybe you have a special chair in your house. And when you go to that chair, that is your study chair. And that's the queue to get you into the habit of studying. 
The other thing is to make it a regular habit and to build the habit so you do it again and again and again, day after day. Like me, I'm sure you believe that developing a language takes time, it takes patience and persistence. We need to do it again. I think it was Aristotle who said, we are the sum of our actions and therefore our habits make all the difference, right? In effect, you are the sum of your habits. All those little things you do day after day make you who you are. Whether you're lazy, responsible, loving, caring, it's all those little habits day after day. So develop the habit of study. Another quick tip is to find ways to enjoy your study. The more you enjoy it, the more you will learn. Simple as that. So find things that interest you, that you enjoy spending time with, so that when you wake up thinking about your study, you're excited. You're not like, oh God, IELTS again. No, it's wow, English, you're excited about it. And finally, be focused. Don't get distracted by Facebook, YouTube, scrolling, emails, Skype, all of the social media, too many resources, too many tools, too many websites. Get focused um, and stay focused. Now let's talk about how to improve your fluency so you can speak without effort. Um, first of all, of course, it's good to immerse yourself in English, to be listening to lots, to be repeating, to have lots of conversation practice. Yes, but have you tried the fridge technique? This is based on a game. It's a memory game and it goes like this. The first person says, in my fridge, there is a bottle of milk. Then the next person says, ah, in my fridge, there's a bottle of milk and a slice of cheese. And then the next person, in my fridge, there's a bottle of milk, a slice of cheese and some mustard. And it goes on and on, right? Now we do the same here. Now the fridge technique then is you, when you're answering a question or talking about a topic, is you add sentences or you add phrases to what you're saying. Let me show you. If somebody says, you know, where are you from? I can say, I'm from Manchester. And then I repeat and add a clause. I'm from Manchester, which is in the north of England. Then I repeat and add a third clause. I'm from Manchester, which is in the north of England, um, a beautiful part of the country, by the way. And that's it. If you can, you can add maybe a fourth clause, but normally three is about the right number. And you can do this for any question. Imagine we go on to answer, and um, what do you like about your hometown? Well, I think it's a lovely place. Well, I think it's a lovely place because it's not far from the sea. I think it's a lovely place because it's not far from the sea and quite a few tourists visit it. Right? You get the idea. So you're by repeating, you're building up your fluency. Very, very simple technique. Now let's look at how to widen your vocabulary and to make it more active, right? For a band seven. Of course, one of the key things here is to always learn words in context, preferably by listening um, or watching film or video so that you know it's spoken English, right? Um, learn vocabulary across a variety of different topics and follow the simple cycle. Listen, repeat and use. Listen, repeat and use. Very, very easy. And also remember to take notes so that you can review and possibly test yourself on a regular basis. And I think that the app I mentioned earlier is a fantastic tool for this. It ticks all the boxes, if you like, um, so that you the Woodpecker app for learning and developing vocabulary and improving all of your English skills. Let me show you how it works. So here we are, you can see that I'm in the um, the app, sorry, the iPad app. So we've got all the videos here. Let's go into the teachers video. I like actually this one, Learn English with TV series is very good. And let's just choose a video. 
Um, how about this one? Hospital English. Go jogging. You put on your workout gear, tie up your shoes. Let's go to the beginning. So let's imagine for a second that you're in a lovely English speaking country. You're enjoying the early hours of the morning and you think it's the perfect time to go jogging. Jogging. Let's just check that word. Jog. An energetic trot. <laughs> Slower than a run. Brilliant. So it gives us all the definitions and I can actually add it to my dictionary. Now let's li let's listen, let's repeat. You put on your workout gear, tie up your I shoes. I can just go back. Perfect time to go jogging. Perfect time to go jogging. Put on early hours of the morning and you think it's the perfect time to go jogging. Perfect time to go jogging. Fantastic. And then I can start to use it, make my own sentences. Six o'clock in the morning, it's the perfect time to go jogging. When I finish work, it's the perfect time to go jogging. Fantastic, that's it. And so you can see how it works. And then if I go back into our dictionary, you can see there I've got the word saved and I can even export my words as a file. So I have a study file to, to carry on working with. Let's move on. Right, so we've talked about the tools and the right way to study if you need to improve your English level because you're at the bottom end of the band six, right? But what if you're at the top edge of the band six and you just need a little push to get over into the band seven space? Well, in that case, probably different tools and a different technique. I would say, yes, still work on developing your language because that always help, helps, um, but also work more, spend more time on your exam technique and exam practice. So I suggest you go to the IELTS official website um, and check out there the, the preparation materials. You can find out about the format of the test. You can find out IELTS sample questions. You can do a, an official practice test to check where you are. And there's lots of materials to study with. In addition to that, I suggest you go to my website, the Keith Speaking Academy, and check out part one, part two, and part three to really understand how each part of the test works. And also there you'll see there are not only information about the test, but you can find out a bit about the common topics, how to prepare for that part, and maybe how to develop answers for that part of the test. So lots of useful tips there. Lots more practice. I also suggest you check out the practice tests here on the website. As you can see, we've got lots of um, study tests or IELTS speaking practice tests. And basically here, these are videos of me acting as your examiner. Um, you can choose different topics and you have time to answer the questions. So it's a great way, a bit like a mock test. Hello there. Hi, yes, come in, come in, come and have a seat. Okay, great. Can I see your ID number? So I'm your examiner. You have time to answer and practice. Great. And also finally, check out some of these top tips. This is basically a blog of different um, tips you can find out about studying, about improving, um, some sample answers, lots of information there. And each of these comes with a video as well. So you can watch and practice at the same time. And all of these, I think, can help you get those at the extra technique and practice for the exam that you will need. Fantastic. So listen, I hope this has given you some ideas about useful tools and how to study the right way to reach your goal of getting unstuck <laughs> and reaching the band seven space. Fantastic. Now it's time to talk about those free prizes. Do you remember? from our friends at the Woodpecker app. Um, Woodpecker has sponsored this video. A big thank you again to them. Um, I've talked a lot today about tools, right? And I think 
without question of a doubt, um, one tool you should have in your toolbox is the Woodpecker app. Not only do you get access to like 300,000 videos from the internet, but you have this ability to look up words that you don't understand and to store them. Now, in addition, this there, there is a, an add-on feature in the app. Although the app is free, you can pay for an add-on feature, which allows you to browse the internet, um, any different website, and look up words that you don't know. And if you have an iPad, and a Netflix subscription, you can also look up words you don't know as you're watching Netflix. This is a paid for um, add-on, but today we are giving away three web browser add-ons for free. All you have to do is join in the lucky draw, and that's dead easy. I would like you to download the Woodpecker app for free. The link is down below. Um, go on there and leave a comment to tell us what you are watching to improve your English on the app today. Dead easy. Tell us what you're watching to improve your English on the app. One comment, right? You don't need to leave lots. Only one, because when I do the lucky draw, any repeated comments are deleted. Fantastic. You will have 48 hours from the release of this video to leave your comment below. Tell us what you're watching on the app to improve your English. And then I'll let you know who the three lucky people are. Great. That's it. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please do remember to subscribe, turn on the notifications, leave that comment down below, and I will speak to you soon. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.